Hey guys, so today we're going to talk a little bit more about pants. P pants, pants, pants. Um, I did a pants review before. Maybe I'll link it somewhere. They were the 511 Ridgelines. And by chance, you know, I'm not trying to pitch 511 or anything, but I got a lot of requests for the 511 Strike Pants. So today we're going to be talking about the 511 Strikes. Now this pant pant this pair of pants was the first pair of pants that I bought from 511 and actually kept um, I like them a lot maybe my favorite pant I'm not sure I don't really have a favorite pant right now but these are up there so the 511 strikes and let's just get into them so <laughs> this is the area of the pants that I think you care about the most so I got some feedback from my last pants review that said we don't want to look at your butt all the time. We feel kind of awkward as much as we think your butt is great. We don't want to check it out. So maybe next time do a tabletop. So I'll start off here and then we'll switch to the majority of the video being a tabletop. We'll just get into it. So the thing that I like most about the Storm Pants are these pockets up front here. So here I have a Galaxy S7 Edge. So it's a pretty big phone. Fits the majority of the way into it. If you had a smaller phone, it would completely disappear, but I kind of like it sticking out. It's kind of easier to grab. Um, so front pocket, I use almost always with my uh, cell phone right here. So that way I don't have to dig into a pocket. That way it's not bouncing around in my pocket with my flashlight or anything like that. It has its own pocket. And this is a perfect size pocket for a cell phone. So if you like carrying your cell phone separate from the rest of your stuff, Check these out. I carry on my left side, but you know, carry it also on your right side. These pants are completely, um, what's the word? Uh, brain fart on the word. Uh, they're the same on each side. So mirror image on each side. So whatever pockets I do over here, same, same pockets are gonna be on the left side. Um, so here we go. So I have my phone and maybe I'll just do a quick EDC kind of pocket dump thing, how I have my pants set up. I don't know, not really set up, but how I have my stuff in my pockets. Cell phone here, I have a flashlight clipped. Uh, still using the Olight S1 baton. I like it a lot because of the magnetic tail. And then over here, I'm running a Leatherman Skeletool, which I just did a review of actually just recently. In here, in my main pocket, I have my keys and some chapstick. And that's it in that pocket. And then I have a little Sharpie clipped here and my wallet in this pocket with some pizza punch cards too. So I like having things separate because I don't like, like I mentioned in my last video probably, I don't like having to dig through my hand, getting caught on my knife and everything to get all my stuff out. So I like just being able to get my cell phone out easy, accessing stuff and having some separation. Um, so that's it on the pockets I actually use. On the back, we have your favorite view here, which is the back pockets. These are Velcro flaps, pretty standard. Go back in there, decent way. So if you use your back pockets and you like the flap, cool. They have a center belt loop back here and belt loops are pretty standard, pretty standard size. Uh, nothing to write home about and here, is the front. These belt loops are a little bit closer together than I'd like, but that's probably good for some people, but I don't really like it because I have a lot of stuff up front. So these could be a little further back. I'd be all right with that, but it's not the end of the world, not a deal breaker. These have little loops in them here for whatever. And I'm kind of talking a lot standing up, so maybe there won't be much tabletop after all. So these pocket depths, I actually grabbed a little ruler here. This is a little six inch ruler. If you're wondering what the depth is, it's about six inches of those front pockets. The things that make these kind of tactical, I guess, are these cargo pockets over here. And inside, we have inner pockets for AR-15 style mags. So you can get two of these in here, um, and they're in these pockets. They won't bounce around, so when it's in here, in the front or the rear, it's secure, pretty much. So if you're the kind of guy that runs AR mags in your cargo pockets, they got you covered. Uh, I don't, but I have thrown them in there a couple times on the, on the range if we're going out to like 300 yards or something and I don't feel like lugging a bag or anything, I'll just toss a couple of loaded mags in my pockets. So I've actually used them. I don't use them in the day-to-day, -day, but I have used them. Cargo pockets are a little you know, a little bigger. I like the really low profile cargo pockets that don't have any 
any kind of floppiness, but these obviously will allow you to stuff a little more stuff into them. So. All right, so here we go with the tabletop. We'll see how it goes. Uh, kind of awkward with a pair of pants, but we'll make do. So on the side here, we got the cargo pockets, like I mentioned before, and this is gonna be hunt and focus here and there because I have it on auto because I'm gonna be bringing stuff up close to the camera. So if that annoys you, I am sorry. So we left off with this double cargo pocket thingy on the inside. So what we have is a standard cargo pocket and interior, we have the spots for the mags to go into. And I'll try my best to get this on camera to try and explain these little pockets in here, but basically they're just little pockets and there's not much else to them. Little pockets inside your pockets to keep things a little more organized. So we got the cargo and that's that. We have this extra little layer here and I'm sure you can tell that it is kind of a different fabric, a little more abrasion resistant here for your pocket clip. Also, if you have a large clip, this does go inside here, extends down into your cargo pocket. So if your clip is too long, it'll go down right there into your pocket. All right, and what else to talk about? We have the fly that is the locking style. So up and down, pretty standard size length. Um, and then when this little flap is down, the fly obviously just doesn't move up or down. A lot of pants, tactical or not, have that kind of fly on them. So these do. The, uh, these pants are snap closures. So the primary method is a little snap that works great. It says 511 on it. And then also has a button here too. I never do the button, but if you wanna do the snap and the button, you are free to do so. Inside of the pants, pretty standard. Um, in these pants, I actually wear, normally I wear a 32-32. In these pants, I wear a 30-32. And that's because there's so much extra stretch in these. So both sides of these pants have this. It's a kind of a nice stretch Nice stretchy waist mechanism. I don't really know how to describe it. It's like elastic inside of this thing that pulls. So it doesn't have uh, all these like wrinkles like a lot of other stretchy pants have. Man, I'm hearing this thing hunt focus so much. Maybe I'll get a new camera, I don't know. We'll see. So that has it, the stretchy part on both sides. So out of all the tactical pants I own, these have the most stretch. So if you want kind of a tighter fit, um, I found, I tried the 32-32s and they're a little baggier in the leg than the 30-32s and I found the 30 by 32s had enough stretch in the, plenty of stretch in the waist so that I could kind of go down a size in waist and have the same length virtually. So I personally go down a size in the waist. So you could try that if you want. There's some emblems around. Yada, 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 a little 511 tag on the right cargo pocket. And that's pretty much it. I don't know what you guys care about for pants. That's all I really care about. There is gusset crotch, as is the standard in most tactical pants um, for a little extra stretch. Looks like I actually have a little hole here. So I use and abuse these pants pretty much. Um, and they're really pretty durable. Though I have a hole in my crotch. That might be from like a dog or hopping over a fence or something, I don't know. Uh, I never know. The material is stretchy. Kind of that uh, stretchy material that I really like. It's rip stop, so it has little squares in there. Um, and this is, you know, it's a fairly tactical looking pant. I would say the cut is a boot cut, uh, straight leg, so fits over boots and pants just fine. And these aren't as baggy as a lot of other tactical pants. They're not as thin as the 511 Apex or even the Ridge Lines, but they're not too baggy. I can wear them um, without feeling like a fool. Uh, articulated knees that you can kind of tell in the picture and just a really comfortable pant. Um, I really like these 511 pants with this stretchy fabric. So another pair of great pants. They do kind of fade. I don't wash my pants all that much because uh, I don't get them dirty that much, like super, super dirty, even though you would expect I would, uh, judging by my truck. Um, I really just wash them when they get dirty because I'm a guy and that's what we do with our pants. So I, I feel like they do fade a little bit, but you know, it is what it is. So these pants are a couple years old, I think. And these are like the brown color. That was kind of hard to tell in the light. And I don't know, that's really it.
People wanted to see more pants reviews, so I'll probably keep them coming. But let me know what you want to see in a pants review. Uh, if the tabletop thing was good or if it sucked, if you want to see more of my butt instead, or maybe in action, though, you know, I, I am a very mobile guy. I am in action, and I wouldn't own a pair of pants if they restricted my movement, which is why you rarely see me in jeans, because I'm always crawling, ducking, crouching, picking things up, uh, playing with my dogs, getting eggs out of my chicken coop, building stuff. So I wear, if a pair of pants that I own can't handle that stuff, I don't, I don't wear them unless it's like to a dress function or something. So any pants I have that I wear, you can, you can know that they are fairly durable and they are, uh, they, they work for movement and that kind of thing. So I don't know. Let me know what you want me to talk about. Let me know what you want to see in these pants review videos. I have a lot of pants, so I can keep these reviews coming for a while. Um, I'll put links down below in the description. Uh, just link to Amazon because, you know, using those links helps support the channel. Though, I don't think they're the best price at Amazon. So feel free to buy stuff with the Amazon link or search for them through some other site. Uh, maybe I'll post a link to uh, Optics Planet for them, even though they didn't send me these pants just because they sometimes have pretty good pricing. Uh, and yeah, thanks for watching, liking, supporting, all that stuff. Uh, I'll catch you guys later.